these two stretches are really good, particularly if you have got a sore lower back or if you're working in an office setting. You notice me, I'm sitting up nice and straight now, but the tendency is for us to want to do this, to sort of slouch a little bit. And that puts a lot of strain and tension through these muscles and the spine here at the back. So here are two stretches that will really help. Hands up behind your head, just elbows out like this, and side bend. Opening up the rib cage there at the side, stretching down through the lower back to the hip, coming back over to the other side. Remember, just take it to the tension point and wait. See, and then it creeps a bit further and wait. Let it just give it time. Muscles need time to stretch and warm up a little bit. The other one is a rotation, which we can do by keeping our hands in the same position and just twisting like this. Try not to put strain on your neck or your head though. Don't go pulling your head around. Maybe keep your hands down on your neck a little bit more like this. And just allow your back to stretch. That really helps this point through the rib cage, that rotation. You can do this same two stretches standing up as well. And what that does is it moves the stretch from the lower rib cage and lumbar spine, we call it the thracolumbar junction, and it will then move the stretch a little lower down into the lower back and pelvis. So you can do the same side stretch and rotation. As soon as you sit down like I am now, it brings the stretch and the rotation a little higher up into the rib cage here. You can see my trunk moving like that. But they're two great stretches. They're only simple, but boy, they're really, really effective at just keeping your lower back moving a lot better.